So, hello everybody. Yes, another mulberry video. <laughs> Sorry, I've been like doing them every year. You guys seem to like them. Mulberries are awesome fruits, you know, so you can't pass them by. Every color, every shape, flavors, super easy to grow. And, you know, pretty long seasons on them. But anyway, as you already know, because you saw the heading, and that's why you're watching this video, this is Ranger. This is another native mulberry selection. And it gets, look at those, snow white, beautiful berries on there. And this is my latest fruiting mulberry. Don't mind my dirty hands. It's late in the evening, been working outside all day. Look at that. And these are, hmm, oh, short, fat little berries. Mm, 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 mm. Snow white. Sometimes they'll, if they're really ripe and they haven't fallen, they'll get a little yellowish to them. Yellowish, yellowish. Hmm. And this tree, I've trained it over the years. Very nice, low canopy, as you can see. This is literally just right over my head. Beautiful low canopy, main branches. And you can see all this year's new growth. And that'll all be trimmed back and fed to the goats. But you can see nice and low, so it's super easy to harvest from. And I just literally just cut out the main trunk. And so everything's super low. This will be another main branch I'm going to let grow that's hanging down. Mm. Just talking while I'm hunting for berries here. But this is uh, the latest, absolute latest ripening variety that I have. Oh, there's a whole bunch right there. Look at them. And, oops, dropping them. And just... Mmm, very delicious. And we are the middle of April here. And these will have fruit on them going into May. Which is pretty much the only variety that will have fruit that far in the year going into May. There's not too many. Mmm, oh, just delicious. So, it's definitely a season extender <laughs> variety you know it'll keep your season going for you and just tons of fruit all up in these branches here just tons of them tons of them and the fruit is zero acid there is absolutely no acid on these fruits so it is just pure little snow white sugar bombs and they do taste just delicious. Just delicious. And uh, yeah, not talking much because I'm hunting for delicious berries to jam in my pie hole. And <laughs> you can see them all there. Maybe I'll pause here for a minute and talk to you guys. Mm. So yeah, Ranger, 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 Ranger can. I got this Ranger. And, um, Native mulberry, so it's very good with cold. Don't have to worry with that. Pretty much go, you know, down to, you know, in the single digits, and they survive just fine. And it pushes its leaves very late, so they miss those late spring frosts that some mulberries can suffer from. And the berries last about, and you know, they start ripening around the beginning of, you know, the end of March. And then they will have fruit going into the beginning of May. So you got a good long season on these guys. Really good tasty fruits. A very vigorous, cold tolerant tree. I mean, what more can you ask for, right? Besides screaming goats. <laughs> right? So there you guys go. Grow food. Grow those right there. Grow mulberries. Look at those. Short fat, you know, tip your thumb size, white berries, pure little delicious snowy sugar bombs. And uh, yeah, really tasty, tasty. So grow that food guys, and see you later. Ranger Mulberry, 
the last one I will do. Hopefully have some new mulberry varieties for you next year. Yes. Probably like five more varieties. We'll see. But look at them. I'm going to eat those berries. So I'm going to let you go. See you later. Love you guys. Let me know what you think down below.